Welcome to Interview Pro. I received a comment on one of my Angular videos where we learned how to add Bootstrap in Angular. The comment was to make a video on how to add Carousel to Angular application using Bootstrap. First of all, thank you so much for watching my video. This video is specially made for you. I hope the information that I share in this video answers your question. So without any delay, Let's add a carousal in our Angular application. I have taken thumbnails from my Angular, React, Python, and Lead Code playlists. I want to create a carousal using these thumbnails like this. We have already installed Bootstrap in our application and added necessary configuration. Let me install it again so that we have our latest version npm i bootstrap. This will take some time to install the bootstrap. If we verify package.json, we see the latest version of bootstrap. And we are already using the latest version of Angular, which is Angular 16. For uh, bootstrap to work, we have added uh, bootstrap.min.css in styles array. To add carousal to our application, browse for uh, bootstrap carousal and uh, go to this link bootstrap version 5 and set it to the latest version we see the code readily available for uh, carousal with the different options let's uh, copy the code for this carousal because uh, i want to see which slide is currently active and how many slides are present in the carousal we can add this code in uh, app component, but I want to add this in a separate component to make the code uh, cleaner. I have already created the carousal component using ngGC command. Angular has created the required files and also it has added this carousal component to app module.ts. Now uh, let's go to carousal HTML and uh, paste the code that we copied. Then uh, the source and alt are uh, not given here. So let's uh, update them with our uh, images. I have uh, added these uh, thumbnails to assets folder and gave a simple name, one, two, three, and four. You can give any name. Now update these uh, sources with uh, the paths. So assets slash one dot png assets. Uh, alternate name I'll simply give it as uh, one then for the second image it's asset slash two dot png this is going to be simply two then we have uh, asset slash three dot png this is going to be three I have uh, four thumbnails but the sample codes has support for only three images so let me copy paste this div again and update this image to 4.png and alt with the 4. If we want to display this in uh, UI, we need to add this uh, component. Uh, the We need to add this selector app hyphen carousal to some other component, right? So I want to add this in the app component. App hyphen carousal. Let's save these changes. My code is already compiled. Then go to UI. Uh, this is a carousal, but the images are looking too large. So let's go back to carousal component. I have already created a CSS here for a carousal component. So I, uh, sorry, carousal container. I'll add this to the carousal container. So because this is responsible for all these images, right? So I'll add this uh, class here. What is this class doing is it will add a margin of 16 pixel on the top and it will give a width of 500 pixel. So this is the carousal with the next previous and also the indicators. Uh, I have four thumbnails, but uh, it's showing only three indicators. That is because we did not add a button here. So let me copy paste and add the button, which is slide four. Now we have uh, four indicators here. Uh, so if I click on uh, previous or next, the thumbnail has to move to the next image or the next slide, but it's not working. This is because uh, we have added styles, but to add the functionality or effects, we need to import bootstrap JavaScript file as well. So let's go to AngularJSON. 
similar to how we added this path in uh, styles array we need to add a js uh, path as well so inside test folder you'll have a js uh, folder which has bootstrap min.js so once we import uh, let's build the application ng build or you can directly do ng serve as well Uh, meanwhile, let me show you this folder. So if we go to node modules. In the node modules under bootstrap. Sorry, this is bool base. Okay, this is bootstrap. We have a dist folder. Inside this we have CSS and JS files. So if you expand JS, you would see a min.js file. Now our solution is compiled. Let me launch the application using ng-serve command. Let's go to UI. Now uh, we see these, uh, we see the same carousal. If I click, okay, let me just refresh. Yeah, now we see the carousal uh, working as expected. So when we are on the fourth slide, we see the fourth uh, indicator active then uh, the indicator keeps changing to uh, indicate this is the current slide. So this is how we can add the uh, carousal in Angular using Bootstrap. I hope I answered the question. Please let me know if this is what you have expected. Also, if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.